Jamari John, uh, Jones, the quarterback, and Caleb Johnson, who we talked about. In motion is Rankin. Back to pass is Jones. Let's it go. Rankin out there. What a catch. It. Touchdown. What a grab, Charlie. One on one out there. Rankin just kept his eye on that ball. Perfectly tossed rock. I can tell you that was good defense, too. So that was a well executed play. Again, one on one. And it looks like there is a flag on this, Charlie. We'll see what happens. It's against the defense. So this touchdown will stand. It sure will. One play, 29 yards. That's all it took. And they draw first blood here. In motion is Thomas throwing. Uh. Intercepted. Picked off defensively by Robinson. Robinson down the sideline. Omar Hill Robinson. He's going to go all the he way. Gone. 98 yards on the touchdown Must on the INT. The pick six for Bethune. Yeah, he had the end zone in his eyes as soon as he grabbed that one. And Jamari Jones, compared to the last couple of plays where he was cool under pressure, he just telegraphed this pass. He gave up a gift on that one, and he said to Omari Hill Robinson, take that one as an early birthday present. And he returns it big time, untouched, for the long touchdown, gets him on the board. Another look at this, I'm telling you, Jones from the moment he took that snap knew exactly where he was going. He was trying to get that out to Cameron Gardner, and he just gave it up. Well, when you talk about that young man who just brought it back, that is his fourth interception this year. I say visit, it was Mississippi Valley visiting, but Bethune was at home here. We're running nice. to the outside, good move, and it's a first down and goal. And running with abandon is Terrell Lindsey. Terry Lindsey out of Fort Myers, Florida. 11-yard gain. It's first and goal inside the 10. Yeah, he did a nice job carrying the mail on that one, finding his own opening. He had defenders, but he did a nice job, a little juking and jiving. Duro Lee saved the touchdown. And again, Lindsey straight ahead. Great and he's going to score. Lindsey into the end zone from eight yards out. Man, Charlie Lindsay, Terry Lindsay, number 25. He has some quick feet. Watch him on this one. He gets it, freezes the defense, and continues to move. Watch him take this ball, green jerseys, little bake, and he, he just made it look easy. And for him, that's his first rushing touchdown this year, the sophomore. Last week against Jackson State, he was 7 of 17. This is what they call the muddle huddle. Second and six. Jones looking. Caught. Was a touchdown. Averitt. Averitt on the touchdown reception. And it comes from 24 yards out. Kamari Averitt did a nice job man-to-man -man coverage here. He was ahead of his defender, actually came back to the ball, adjusted, made a great catch, took it right into the end zone. Well played. We'll see it again here. He has a step on his man, comes back for the ball, turns this into goal. That was a 98-yard drive. Remember, that drive started at their own two-yard line. I don't think they're going to do the muddle huddle this time. They're going to just go ahead and kick the extra point with Mokhead Dam. They have the ball in great field position. Thank you, Ash. Back to pass is Jones. Look at that. And it has a touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown to Sylvester Valley. Campbell, junior out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The tight end went to MLK High in Milwaukee. Jones That's how you come out of halftime, Charlie, and make something happen. It was a really, really nice pass. You'll see this. He just slings it. Jones steps back, sees his man on the outside, and he just puts a nice little touch on it. A little English there, wide open for the six points. And that's Campbell's second touchdown reception this season. And Play what they give you. Make it happen, and you'll be a star. This is uh, the second or fourth time he's run the ball today. Going up for his 10th pass. Man open. Nice. And it is caught by Riley. Still on, Still his, on feet. his feet. And Riley is going to score. He is going to score from 73 yards away. Bang, zoom, goodbye. <laughs> 
really nice play, but I like the poise by Jalen Jones hanging in there, and he just put a frozen rope out there, led his receiver perfectly, and give credit right there to Riley. After this reception, this is a great run after the catch. He turns on the Jets, and then he turns into Slippery Man, shakes him, and he says, man, I'm gone, fellas. Don't even waste your time. Second touchdown pass today by Jalen Jones. Osceola High in Orlando, Florida. He's on the left side of his quarterback, Jamari Jones, and he gets the ball, and he goes into the end zone. Yeah, bringing in the battering ram. And he kind of just bounced easily in there. Yes, he did. <laughs> little pinball machine move. Made it look fairly easy. Catch on the replay. Doesn't even need his mouthpiece. I'm just going to get this one on in there. That's his second rushing touchdown this season. Good job. Comes with seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Consistent drive. Mixing it up nicely. Chance to pull within seven right here. It was, it was crazy. Here's a short kick being fielded on the far side. Here's fake reverse coming down the middle of the field. Good return for Bethune. Outstanding. Bethune. He's not catching him. The kicker trying to do something with it, and that is D's. That is his second touchdown. He's returned for a uh, kick return for a touchdown this season. Darnell D's 91 on. yards. After burners. 91 yards for D's. He's the third leading kickoff returner in the country. And here he goes. Yeah, the little fake reverse throws the defense off just for a moment. And he does a nice job finding that lane, turning on the Jets, and it was good night. Yeah, you, you, you called it. He's one of the leading kickoff return guys for a reason. And he set that thing up. 5'10", 175 pounds, sophomore out of Pompano Beach, Florida. Looking and feeling good, Charlie. And it's 35 to 21. Let's look at it once again. This comes with 6.45 to go. Point after is good. Great job, and he'll have to thank his guys up front, too, for opening that crease, and then he just takes advantage. So showing great speed, great field awareness, too, because there was room to possibly bounce this outside, but he found that crease on the inside, and that gave him a step on a few of the defenders. This is a really nice play. It's a good fake, just enough to shift a few guys over, and he right there. Instead of going outside, he went inside, and he had that lane. So it turns on the lightning, no chance. You know, kickers, I, I tell you, that's their worst nightmare, too. When they see this starting to unfold, they're the last savior before the end zone. You they know what's ironic? Jimmy Robinson, the man who he faked it to, so, somehow wound up all the way on the opposite side of the field, blocking for him out. Field. That's <laughs> called a teammate. I love guys who do that. Gene comes to the near side. Take off. A lot, of, a lot of real estate over there for the quarterback. Jones, he runs and runs out of bounds and stops the clock. But they're going to stop it anyhow because they got to move the chain. Yeah, outstanding play by Jones just tucking it away. He's done that numerous times today. When he sees the field, finds his receivers not open. You can see all day long he's been stepping up in that pocket to avoid any collision with some of those defenders and this time again that open green he turns on the jets gets to the sideline keeps that chain moving 26 yards on that run wilson in the backfield with him jared wilson jones looking throws Excellent. complete touchdown mississippi valley guess who Corey rankin they are, and we talked about it. When this cat runs those great routes and Jones puts it on the money, it's magic, and that's exactly what they did. They've been connecting all day when Jones is feeling it right there. He finds his man, puts it right out there. Rankin does a nice job of just turning, twisting, getting that into the end zone. Excellent toss. His second touchdown receiving today. Again, Bird bounces it to the outside. He's going to the house. Yeah. Touchdown, Bethune. That seals it with 42 seconds to go. 25 yards. That's the way you put a lock on something, huh? Leave no questions. 
42 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. And it's a 44 to 35 ball game. Quayshawn Bird just a nice job of bouncing this outside. A little stutter step here and then finds that nice soft spot to the end zone. Great job of running. 